Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tracy and this is a girl with plans. In today's video, I'm gonna be setting up and decorating my fitness planner for the week of May the 8th. guys so last week in my fitness planner i did go with a fitness theme spread um i did the whole live love posh meditation yoga type theme so i like to change it up from week to week um so this week i am not going to be doing a fitness theme <laughs> spread in my fitness planner and i'm also kind of like taking it back a little bit with the sticker books i use and i'm using this happy illustration sticker book i have a couple of them because i got one in a like bundle from happy planner and then i got this one for seven dollars at tuesday morning so i am going to be using this and i think i'm going to be using these animals i think they're super cute i'm not a dog mom or cat mom but i do like animals so i think i'm going to use those and then we might use some other stickers and this book to kind of like bring out colors and things like that I don't know maybe the ice cream cones I don't know we'll see I just kind of want to make it a point to try to use some of these older books that aren't necessarily fitness related to kind of bring some fun in my fitness planner and then recently I picked up these little box um of sticker rolls I got got them from Ollie's I have another one that I already opened so I'm gonna use that one um, but these are the fitness stickers. So I'm going to be using these to track my workout. Um, and instead of doing the food groups, I may just track breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to write what I ate. Maybe I'll just drop the food groups on there. I don't know. But now that I have like two boxes of all of these stickers, I kind of feel like I need to use them. And for each of these storage purposes, I put them in here with some other ones that I had. And I've already like cut them. <laughs> so... I cut them so that way they're easy and then they stored better. And this is like a little tool case or whatever that I got from the Dollar Tree, which I don't believe, at least none of the ones that I go to have these anymore. So, which is a bummer, but they were, they're, they're pretty useful. So yeah, I think I'm going to use these. I'm not sure what colors yet though. <laughs> um, cause they come in like the pinks, the green and the greens. Yeah, so they have like ombre and all this other stuff. So I'm not 100% sure what color I want to do. Maybe we'll do these. So maybe we'll do, I don't know if we should do ombre or if we should alternate. Maybe we'll alternate. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just use all the ombre just in case I want to do like an all pink spread one time and then that will work so we have that um I'm going to put all of these stickers down and I don't know I might actually do them a little wonky let's see let me put a few down and then what I'll do is I will cut the video and then come back once they're finished just because I don't know if you guys want to watch me do this. Yeah, I can do that. And then I think I can do the same down here. I don't think it matters. And I actually can go a little bit lower. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest down and then we'll go from there. All right, so now I have all those down. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and complete my functional stuff for this spread. Um, I'm doing that all at the beginning and I think I'm going to use these. And I'm not sure, I didn't write on the back where these came from, but these work and this already has gold foil. So I figure I don't know how many spreads I'm going to use this for. I think I use these in my reading journal. So... I was like, yeah, I'll go ahead and use these. And I put these, basically, I'll just go ahead and explain why I do the first few. So, like, in these, they have calories burned, and I also have calories burned up here because those are my Apple Watch um, stat trackers that I made myself. Um, and then just printed them on label paper and stuck them up here. But I'll do the calories burned for the workout, and this is my overall calories burned for the day. So, that is a little bit different. I'm trying to figure out which ones I want to use. And then down here is where I write specific information about my workout. So how many 
what size weights did I use, things like that. Maybe if I did cardio, I can write little notes about the cardio. I'm, I have a confession. I hadn't been the greatest the past few weeks with working out. I have been doing yard work, which counts as working out. And I have been, I mean, I'm talking about like 1,200 calories burned just doing yard work. It's been like mulch and raking and pulling up the weeds. So it's been a lot. So I'm definitely counting that. But um, let me see, where was... I don't know. I don't know which one I just did. We'll just do this one anyway, even if it doesn't match. So yeah, <laughs> I haven't been that great. So I'm trying to keep up with it. I'm trying to do, so if I do like strength, strength, then this day I could do cardio. Here I am like trying to plan ahead and I've been trying to do that. I just haven't been sticking to what I've been planning. <laughs> Planning is the easy part. It's following through, right, guys? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the down, rest of these down, and then I'll be back. All right, so all of the function is pretty much done. Um, but now that I did this, I'm like, are these dogs even gonna match <laughs> with this spread? Should I go for something even a bit brighter? I don't know, guys. What do you think? I can always do like the irony and do cupcakes and ice cream cones. <laughs> Um, so I don't know. Up oh, flowers. We have florals. Which I may end up actually using for, you know, the top. All right. So let's see. So what else is back here? I have the llamas. I don't want to do another, I do like this. You know, we have to have a quote somewhere. So let me actually white out some of this. Now that I track a lot of my goals and stuff, like I have a goal sheet for my fitness planner and then I have a separate goals planner. I feel like I really don't use the sidebar very much, so. I think we'll just use the sidebar for motivational stickers. Okay. So I'll put that there. I still want to, I want to use these. I just think they're cute. I know that they don't like really, really fit, but that's okay. I mean, I mean, when I say full, <laughs> ah, clear stickers just have a mind of their own. They just, they, I don't know what happens. It's like magnetic. Now I can cover up the blank face because I definitely don't use the blank face. So I use these faces to mark like whether I've eaten good, bad, or just okay. So That's kind of why, why, why they are there. Oh. <laughs> and of course, with the grids and the lines, am I going to have to take him up and white out all the stuff behind him? It's like I said, it's for me, it's mainly in the face that I get kind of. Like, I don't mind it as much in his tail, but like in his face, I mind it. But I don't, I don't really feel like whiting out anything today, guys. I want to keep this pretty, pretty simple. Like I said, I mean, I decorate this for fun. I like decorating. So that's why I decorate. But this is like a functional planner for me. So, all right. So I keep it functional. Everything like everybody turned the same way. Okay. Yeah, so 
for me, like the decorating is kind of, I just, I enjoy decorating. So that's one of the reasons why I do it. But this is such a functional spread for me that, like I said, it is very extra. Okay. Oh, I can cover up the word meal plan. I mean, that's whatever. All right. I feel like I have two more animals and I kind of want to use them all. <gasps> like I just, I mean, there's only two more and I really do want to use them all. I think this is the problem when I like try to put things in the middle and I put them in the middle because I feel like they fit better. Like they don't really block as much of, like I don't have to worry about them blocking my faces. But this one is just so hard to see. Is he hard to see on camera? I might have to move him. I have to move him to the, I hate having, oh. I would hate having him stare off the side of the page, but, or maybe I'll just put him here. Maybe that's what I'll do. All right. This is the brave doggy who's going to be with all the kitty cats. All right, so we're just having a pet party in my fitness planner this week. Okay. I think it's cute. I mean, it's cute because of the stickers. <laughs> it's cute because it's cute little animals. But yeah, when it comes to fitness, your fitness planner, I mean, I definitely want to, I like to have a little fun. I like to keep things bright and colorful. I just, I do. I like to keep things bright and colorful. I think it's fun. I like to change things up because I have so many fitness stickers. I do like to change things up sometimes and add di different like decorative elements. Like bringing in these crazy <laughs> happy illustration stickers because I just think they're, you know, they're different and, you know, I, I have like three other planners I can use them in, but I just think it's sometimes fun to bring some of the stuff into my fitness planner. So it's not always the same and I do keep the same format. So I do like to change up when I'm decorating because all my stickers typically go in the same place. So that is kind of why I have, I take, I have a little bit more fun. Well, I have fun decorating everything, but that's why I think a little bit more outside the box sometimes when it comes to my fitness planner. Plus with the, like the way the layout is, I feel like, I feel sometimes so restricted. So that, <laughs> Helps a little bit. Okay. Let me actually put this ball of yarn here. <clears throat> I'm putting all the pet stuff down here with all the pets. And then we'll just add some other probably unrelated decor. some at the top and all this. Okay. One page done. Yay. Oh, I have, I have this one. I still want to use this one. I think I'm going to put it like right there. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and white out the dots and I guess the line. It actually helps with him not looking off the page, too. Okay. It's 
cute. <laughs> I was a little worried about how like bright these were and then these, you know, obviously they're animals, so they're more neutral colors, but I don't think it looks that bad. I really don't. All right, do I want a box? That is the question. So there are animal boxes. Like I said, I do keep goals on here, I mean, on a different sheet, but I feel like I've been kind of writing something, like instead of to accomplish this week, kind of been doing like a focus area for the week. It would be kind of cute if, oh, I can do this one. I'll just be covering up May, that's okay. You can see May on the other side and then I can add some boxes over it. That way I don't have to white out. Why am I knocking the floor? Um, obviously I want to use the animal ones. I guess we'll do this one. Okay. And then maybe I'll do a small, one of these small boxes. And maybe I'll do the gold. And that'll be where I write focus area. I'll write the word focus area and then I'll write the focus area. Let me overlap it because it's not, I'm not going to have like a, a sentence. It's just literally going to be focus on probably what I've trying to have been focusing on for a while, eating. <laughs> All right. Is that crooked? Because I'm like, it's, the page is crooked as I'm laying it down. And this is grid. So this should not be crooked. Um... is off the page okay cute I wonder where all of these things are coming from all right I'm liking this all right so now for the top because we have to decorate the top or I have to decorate the top I'm just not sure what to put at the top I don't want to go too crazy now um you could probably put a sun because yay, why not? And along those same lines, I can probably put a rainbow somewhere. Um, let's see if I can do a bigger one that maybe will um ah, if they were only a little bit wider. <laughs> Can I still write move? I think I can still write my move calories. So we'll just do that. Okay. Told you, we're using this book. <laughs> we are sticking to this book and this book only except for what I just put there. All right, what else can we put down? I guess I could bring in the hearts. I don't have to do them every, I don't have to have something everywhere up here. Is there anything different I can bring in? You'll probably see me flip through this book 20 times already. I think that may be it. I still want something right there. I need something between the eight and the nine. <laughs> oh, here's more hearts. Let's, let's do more hearts. I like that a lot. I hope you guys like that too. Um, this was fun. This was fun and quick. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you are not already subscribed, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And I do want to thank all of you who have already subscribed. Um, that is all I have for today. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time, bye.